Hello, and thank you for joining us today to learn more about our LPN to RN program. Let me take a moment first to introduce myself. My name is Suzanne Peters. I'm the Director of Admissions here at Herzing University in our Akron campus. I'm also being joined today by one of our nursing faculty members, Ms. Molly Pittman. She's going to speak directly about what it's like to be an RN, what some of the cool things are within our program and our clinicals, and things of that nature. Throughout this presentation, you will notice on the bottom of the, your screen there's a chat box. So if you have questions, please feel free to add it to the chat box. We'll address those questions at the end of the presentation today. Please stay with us to the end because we are going to be having a raffle drawing for a winner for some goodies. So stay tuned to hear your name being called. So as we start this presentation, let me just start with a little bit about Herzing University. If you're not familiar with us, we've been around since 1965. We offer a variety of different programs from business to IT, criminal justice, healthcare, as well as our nursing programs. We are regionally accredited with the Higher Learning Commission, and we have nine different campuses throughout the states, as well as our online division. But today we're gonna to talk really about our Akron, Ohio nursing program. So a little bit about Herzing. One of our core values that is so amazing and outstanding for, for what I believe in is we asked our advisory boards years ago what is the most important thing when you're looking to hire somebody to work within your company? And all across the board, they, they said it is really those soft skills. It's about being professional, about being respect, having respect, integrity, caring, and engagement. We took those words to heart. And from the beginning of time when you're with admissions, through all of your time, through your courses, and even with career development upon graduating and looking for work, you're going to see that concept embedded that is a strong belief and we're instilling that from day one all the way throughout. Another thing that you're going to see throughout your time with Herzing is our Herzing circle. We pride ourselves in trying to find students and finding that fit with Herzing and your needs and being able to do that education and get to your end goal of being an RN or maybe it's even going on past that towards your master's degree. So the Herzing Circle, we have a lot of entities where we are trying to accelerate you to get you from A to B as short as we can. We're supporting those needs for you. This is something that one-on-one -on -one we could go very into throughout our admissions process with you. We are, our pride is through our nursing pathways about being a lifelong learner. So you'll see that we have a diploma of practical nursing, but then we also have our associate degree that students can go directly into as an RN, but more importantly, they can take their LPN to their RN through that bridge. But even past that, students can also take that RN and go to an RN to BSN or go directly into our BSN program through our bachelor's nursing programs. Outside of that, lifelong learning, we can go all the way up to our master's as well as our postmaster certificates where students then can get into concentrations with nurse education, nurse leadership and administration, psychiatric mental health, and even family nurse practitioner. So you can build your way through your nursing dreams and your, your career aspirations from beginning to end through the pathways of nursing at Herzing. But let's talk about what is really the LPN to RN program, that bridge program. The program is really designed for students that already have an active and unrestricted license here in Ohio. With that, you'll be able to join in to the program where it's a hands-on learning environment, small classes, so that you have that interactive. Unfortunately, Ohio is not a compact state, so you will be required to have an Ohio unrestricted license. And again, you're gonna see that Herzing price of success model throughout your, your time here. Within the LPN to RN program, which is for us, it's the Applied Associate, Associate of Applied Science and Nursing. So that's where you're seeing that AASN at the top of the screen. This program can be completed in as little 16 months. That time frame is for an individual who has no prior education outside of their LPN license. Now, if you've gone to college and you have prior education anywhere else, we definitely want to have registration review that. Let's see if we can shorten that length of time for you, or at least get credit for things that you've already earned. 
with just your LPN license, you're guaranteed a block of 13 credits towards your associate degree of nursing. And throughout your time here in every one of your classes and even at the end of the program, we're constantly working and preparing you to be successful upon taking that out, the NCLEX for your RN, which who doesn't want to pass that their first time. And again, as I've mentioned already, we have that degree pathway for you to complete your education. So no matter where your starting point is and whatever your ending goal is in life, we can help you through that process all the way. As we talk about our learning environment, because that's important, we offer a combination of both online and on-campus learning. So really our general education classes are online. Our core nursing, our labs are gonna be here on campus. Now I am gonna side note, right now we are in a unique time. So as a result of COVID-19, in this moment in time, adhering to our guidance from our local government and health officials, the the core nursing lecture didactic courses at this moment in time are being taught remote where our labs have returned for the hands-on aspect within the campus. So a little bit different at this moment in time. Clinicals are resuming or are gonna be within a simulation model. I'm gonna pause right here for just a moment as we're looking at what is an RN. There's huge job demand, huge growth happening right now. Um, a there's a huge nursing shortage of 11 million nurses, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Um, but I'm going to bring in Ms. Pittman, who can speak directly about what is an RN and a little bit about what you'll learn throughout the program. Thanks, Suzanne. So um, just to introduce myself here real quick, um, I do teach clinical and lab for Herzen University Akron campus. Um, I am also, I work as a nurse up in Akron, Ohio, if you guys are familiar with that area. I work in our neurosurgical trauma ICU for the past five years. Um, before I worked in the ICU, I worked on a medical surgical floor, but I kind of wanted to challenge myself a little bit more, so I decided to transfer over to the ICU. Um, in my ICU, we deal with minor and major traumas, including gunshot wounds, stabbings, motorcycle accidents, motor vehicle accidents, falls, brain injuries, and other surgical complications. Most of my patients are on breathing machines, which are ventilators with multiple IV medication drips and multiple injuries or issues. So I get asked a lot, uh, why you chose nursing? Why did you wanna do nursing? Um, I think it takes a special someone to do nursing and people that choose to do nursing do it because they honestly love caring for people. I love caring for my patients. Um, it may be a downfall because I end up caring too much and then whenever I come home, I can never shut my brain off about my patients and everything like that and their situation but I truly love caring for people and I love making a difference in people's life. There's a couple of stories. I mean, I could think of many stories, but um, there's a couple of stories that stick with me a little bit more so than others. Um, we do have younger patients sometimes like in the 17, 18, 19 range. Um, and a patient that sticks stuck with me is that we had a young patient around 17 years old in a car accident coming home from school with his buddies. No one was wearing a seatbelt in the car and three of his friends out of, him meaning four, um, all died at the scene and he was the only one who made it. When he arrived, he had multiple brain bleeds, skull fractures, rib fractures, along with numerous other injuries. And we honestly didn't even think that he was gonna make it or if he ended up making it, that he was never gonna be the same person he was beforehand. He was on a breathing machine and intubated and he ended up having a semi-permanent tracheostomy in his neck to help him breathe and a feeding tube in his belly. He was nonverbal and just seemed agitated all the time, picking at things, um, unable to talk and walk, and he went to a nursing home after discharge. We all thought that he would live in a nursing home until the rest of his life, and he would never be the same. Well, he ended up coming back to us to visit about eight months after his car accident. He could walk down the hallway. He could talk to us. He thanked us so much for saving his life. He thanked us for all we did. We kind of develop um, relationships with families, like in a professional relationship way because he was there for over a month. And that story just touches me because it feels like we truly made a difference in this boy's life, in his family's life. And that's what I like to do. That's the side of nursing that I love, seeing like what we did and kind of how the patient turns out. And, and whenever things go really good and they turn out great, it just gets us even more excited and why we love caring for people. Other stories are not so very good and they don't turn out the way that we want them to. Um, we had a couple Christmas Eves ago, we had a really hard and difficult patient who emotionally I still get 
upset about at times and it still comes across my mind. He was a young 25 year old kid who took his own life on Christmas Eve. He ended up um, coming in brain dead and he thought no one cared about him and that's why he took his own life and he died alone in the hospital with me holding his hand. Things like this, the side of nursing that one day as a nurse you might have to deal with, but I feel like it makes you stronger and more determined to help patients that you can and know that you did all you could for someone. Luckily, I work with an amazing group of coworkers, and we even have time to decompress after a tragedy happens and talk it over, like in that situation. I truly enjoy going to work. I know some people are like, ugh, I have to go to work, and they get, you know, they're not very excited about their job, but I truly love going to work. I love taking care of people. I love making a difference in people's lives, and I just truly love being a nurse. I know nursing isn't for everyone, and it takes a special someone to be a nurse, but I'm glad I chose a profession that I love and enjoy. And I honestly couldn't see myself doing anything else. Whenever you guys get to the part of doing clinicals and stuff for the University of Herzing, there is different clinical sites. Um, Herzing is located in Akron, so we kind of go either a little bit north or a little bit south for clinical sites. A lot of the sites are in Akron, some are in Canton, Ohio. Usually you can talk with whenever you sign up to do the clinicals and everything at that point in time. Um, they ask you where you live so that some students, you know, they don't have to drive an hour for clinical, so it actually helps out a lot, and they work with you what they can for clinical sites. There's different clinical sites as hospitals, nursing homes, um, rehab places. There's multiple things that you can do and go for your clinical sites. Your clinicals are about maternity. There's pediatrics. There's mental health. You have your adult nursing clinicals. So all those are different sites that you go to each term. And also whenever you go there, you get so much experience. You work with your clinical instructor and side by side with nurses at that facility. And you get instruction on how to do things that you wouldn't obviously do otherwise, unless you were in lab. Put in IVs, take out IVs, draw blood, catheter insertions, so many things, dressing, dressing changes, so many things that you get to do hands-on working with a nurse and working with your clinical instructor that just make it even more real. And also whenever you go to clinicals, it helps to see what maybe scope of nursing you wanna do. Maybe you wanna do pediatrics or maybe you wanna do maternity. And by going to clinical, then you can see, oh, I really like this or maybe I don't wanna do maternity, I rather do this. So it is really nice that you kinda of get to look at all the different kind of types of nursing and see which one you actually really wanna do. Also, whenever you're all said and done with all of your nursing and oh, towards the end, you have practicum, which that is you working side by side with a nurse at a facility, whether it be a hospital, nursing home, rehab, wherever you're working at, they let you go there and you work side by side with a nurse for so many hours and you, it's you and the nurse and you get so much experience. It's honestly you can see if you really like that type of nursing and usually they take into consideration what you kind of want to do um, to place you at a practicum place that you are truly interested in. So they let you go there and you work side by side with the nurse, get so, so many, so many skills. And you feel like I just get, whenever I'm in clinical, I just get super excited. Like when a student gets a IV or something like that, I'm just as excited as you are whenever you get things and skills down. So that's what I love about nursing and I love teaching it and I love teaching it to students and I hope you guys choose to do it here at Herzing. Back to you, Suzanne. Thank you so much. So you heard a couple of the classes that are involved within the program. So I'm going to actually show you a sample schedule. Again, the sample schedule that I'm about to show you is for an individual who only has their LPN license and no additional transfer credits coming from prior college. So this can change to each unique individual and each unique student on what your educational background is going to look like. So if we look at our first semester, you're going to see a term A and a term B. Herzing University's nursing program is divided into these two eight-week terms in every semester, which is really great for students that are juggling work, school, family, and life. So that for, the, for the first eight weeks, you're just going to work on a couple classes, get those out of the way, move to the next eight weeks, take a couple more classes. So instead of having a bigger load to be able to get through this and the shortest amount of time, you're going to have the load kind of broken into different terms to make that management a little bit easier as an adult learner. 
So with our first semester, you're going to see a lot of those general education courses as well of, as our sciences. So this is where your length of time can change if you have this in your educational background already. We would definitely want to have that reviewed by our registration department for any potential transfer credits. There is no, for our general education courses, there's no expiration on how when they can be transferred in, but we do need to have those evaluated to ensure the course by course is going to match. When we move to our second semester, it's where you're going to see that first nursing class coming in. It's going to be in that second term, that B term, where you're seeing that transition into nursing practice, into RN practice. This is where you're taking that bridge from what you know from LPN and getting the stage set to now start into those RN courses in your next semester. So now in semester three, you are in your adult two, you're during clinicals, you're continuing with any general education courses that still may be required that we hadn't completed yet. Those are going to be intermixed throughout this time, but most importantly, we're going to see those nursing classes continue on for those last two semesters in three and four, and then you'll finish with that practicum. And what we're looking at here is that 16 month track for somebody who only has their practical nursing license and no additional college credits transferring in at this point in time. You heard me mention earlier about our accreditation for the university. We're accredited regionally with the Higher Learning Commission, but we're also recognized with the Ohio State Board of Nursing and we're also with our program programmatically accredited with the Accreditation Commission for Education in Nursing. There's a contact number and website to verify that we are part of that accrediting body, as well as you'll see that with our Higher Learning Commission. With these, the Accreditation of Commission for Education and Nursing is really like that gold stamp seal of approval. Um, a lot of employers like it and when you're looking for any bridge programs to continue your education. Often they'll ask that it was a regional or a programmatically accredited program. So this is an important little piece to kind of add into this for you. Now to get into the program, really easy. You will just fill out an application. You'll submit your high school diploma or GED Based on your LPN license, because we'll need your transcript from your LPN, we do look at your cumulative GPA. Now this is going to be from your LPN or your LPN in an additional college, and there's two ways that we're going to look at this. If your cumulative GPA is a 2.5 to a 2.9, you're admitted, we're going to have to take an entrance assessment through ATI with the test of essential academic skills. We just look for a score of a 58 or above. During this time right now, we are allowing students that have a cumulative GPA of a 3.0 or greater to bypass that assessment. Yay! Um, and again, we're going to need a copy of that unrestricted Ohio license. We can assist you with being able to pull this from nurses. And it's as easy as that. Then you're going to be admitted into the university for our LPN to RN program. Bonus information, you heard me mention earlier about those pathways and how you can continue from your RN on. We have two different paths for that if that's your end goal. We have the RN to BSN as well as the RN to MSN. Our RN to BSN allows you to go directly to the Bachelor's of Nursing. It's going to be as completed in as little as 12 months. Immediately, you're going to get a block transfer of 70 credits from your associate degree. And it's gonna save time where you can move towards a dual credit option towards your master's courses if you wished. But we also offer the direct path from the associate degree of RN to the MSN. This is gonna bypass completely that bachelor's degree, but you can complete this in as little as 20 months. This is a perfect pathway for those that are looking to go straight into something like nurse education, nurse leadership, mental health, or even family nurse practitioner. All of these programs and these courseworks are going to be all online. Speaking of online, I mentioned earlier, your general education courses at this point are going to be an online modality. So how do we prepare you for being in an online class? Prior to even starting, you're going to go through an online orientation that allows you to really see how to navigate around our Canvas and what the online school is going to look like. So you feel much more comfortable and prepared before day one of school. 
The advantage to the online learning is it's available for you 24 seven. You can access the recorded lectures, work on your assignments, submit whatever you want, as long as it's by the due date that's within the course. You still get that engagement within the class between you, yourself, your peers, and your instructor, even through that remote. Now, many students will talk to us about, well, what does this look like for me as a working adult, right? Really, with the online class, you just need to know that you should log into your class probably three to four days a week, and you should expect to commit about 20, 25 hours a week towards that education. But you get to choose when you work on that. Within Herzing, we do also have our financial aid department that works directly with you one-on-one -on -one to answer those questions and work on an education plan for you to be able to finance your education. They're gonna to talk to you about the different savings that they may know about through scholarships, tuition reimbursement, military, anything of that nature, and as well, financial aid. That can be quite confusing, so you've got somebody who's gonna be able to be there with you to walk you through that whole process. And again, we're always looking at saying, if you've earned credit completing a course, let's see if we can get transfer credits for that for you, or even looking at prior learning that you've done through an assessment. On our website, we do have what's called a tuition wizard that you can actually look directly and see what this tuition will look like for you specifically, or we can work with you one-on-one -on -one to discuss your individual personal situation to get a clearer picture of that for you. Now, at this point in time, I do want to open it up to any questions that you may have. And it does look like we did have some questions with our clinical sites. Our clinical sites are within about a 60 mile radius from the campus. Um, again, as Ms. Pittman mentioned, they do try to take into consideration where you are living, but they are required that the clinical sites are here in the state of Ohio. And again, our sites are already predetermined within that 60 mile radius. The start date for our next semester is gonna be September 8th. There is no deadline to apply nor complete your financial aid. We just need it completed. Well, I guess there is a deadline. We need it completed prior to September 8th. Do we have any additional questions at this time? Perfect. Thank you so much for joining us today. I wish you all a great evening and we'll talk to you soon.